Hello traders, Rich here and welcome to a new video. Over the past couple of weeks, we went over many instruments, a Forex pair, which is USD CAD, a stock, which is BABA or Alibaba. And last week or like two or three days ago, we went over 10 crypto instruments, but we didn't do an index for a long period of time. So today we are going to check a US 100 or NASDAQ or NQ1, whatever you want to call it. So let's get started. And as usual, I'll try to make it as educational and detailed as possible. So if you like the content so far, make sure to subscribe and leave a like as it will help the video reach more traders. As usual, cheers. But also know we know that we always start from weekly and daily timeframes to know where we stand in the market. Are we overall bullish, bearish, or stuck inside a range? And then we zoom into lower time frames to look for sell or buy setups around our support and resistance. If the price is approaching a resistance area, we'll be looking for sell setups. It can be a horizontal or non-horizontal resistance. And if it's approaching a support area, also it can be non-horizontal or horizontal, we'll be looking obviously for buy setups. So from weekend daily, we identify our key rejection areas, then we zoom into H4, H1, or even M30 timeframe when needed to look for buy and sell setups around these rejection areas identified from daily and weekly timeframes. And here we have an interesting case because the price kept on making all new all-time highs. So we don't have like typical supply and resistance where we have many failed attempts to break above or below a certain level or zone. That's why we go over round numbers or non-horizontal supply and resistance, which are trend lines. So for example, here we can draw a trend line, so which is a non-horizontal support. And we know that as price approaches it, which is what would be around 10K round number, we'll be looking for what, obviously, for buy setups. And, but we don't draw it now because it's now very far from the current price. So we're not draw it to keep the chart clean. And speaking of round numbers, then, because we don't, we can't, we don't have like to respond resistance, we go for round numbers and it can act as a potential rejection area, just like support and resistance and uh, supply and demand zones. And this chart is trading between 1K and 15K. So the strongest round numbers are, of course, one, but I will not draw it. It's very, very far. Next, we have the 5K, then 10K, and yes, you guessed it right, 15K, right? which the price didn't test yet. And here we go. And if you zoom in a little bit, we can see that inside this 10, 15, we can draw a minor one, which is not as strong as the 10 and 15, which is the half or the middle, the 12K.5. And this is it. So that's what we know. That's all that we can identify from weekly time frame because as mentioned previously, we don't have typical supply and resistance. So we know that from weekly time frame only, NQ1 or NASDAQ is trading inside this one. This is a minor round number and this is a very strong round number. And anyway, you can clearly see that the price respected the 5K here, then broke it upward and respected the 10K here, then broke it upward and the 15K, uh, 12, sorry, 0.5 rejected the down, down and then price rejected it upward. So the price seems to be respecting these numbers because they are main and very, very strong, right? So now it's saying inside what I call this floor. So as price approaches the 15K, we'll be looking forward for sell setups, just like we did around the 10 and around the 12.5. As price approaches 12.5, we'll be looking for buy setups. Of course, unless broken downward, we'll be looking for sell. And of course, unless the 15K is broken upward, we'll be looking for buy, just like here, broken upward, we were looking for buy. But anyway, let's take it step by step. Now it's saying inside this floor, we'll be waiting for it to approach the 15K to look for sell and approach the 12.5 to look for buy. That's it for weekly. Let's zoom into daily to see if we can add anything else. On daily time frame, we can clearly see that we are overall bullish. We don't need to compare the highs and the lows. And anyway, we saw it from weekly time frame and aggressive movement upward. This is a beast, <laughs> actually. So 
we know that we are overall bullish and the latest price action is showing us that from a medium term perspective, we are also bullish. So let's zoom in and try to identify the entire range. In this case, it's a rising range, of course, a rising range. So we can identify it by drawing our non-horizontal support because we already did uh, draw, we already drew uh, our support and resistance, right? So let's zoom in now and try to identify the latest price action. We can clearly see that it's very, very obvious. You don't need like, like skills to, to identify this trend line, right? So we are overall bullish. This trend line is acting as a non-horizontal support. So obviously, we'll be looking for buy setups as price retests it. So we know that now, just from this trend line, that the price before reaching the 12.5, because we remember from weekly, we identified this range, we'll be looking for sell and we're looking for buy. But now, since we have the, this piece of information that price can still reject this trend line before going down and test this 1.5. This is how you make sense of the market. This is how you can get an overall feeling about where you are currently in the market. And of course, once you draw your trend line, you try to make an offset uh, to see if also the price is respecting it from the upper side. And obviously it does. As you can see, rejection here and rejection here. So what we will do is as price approaches our upper trend line again, we'll be looking for what? We'll be looking for sell setups, which, which anyway, we were looking for sell setups because we had the 15K, but this trend line is now adding more confidence or more strength to our area. So what I will do is I will draw like an arrow here. I want to uh, see it only on weekly time frame. I don't need to see it on low, sorry, on daily. Don't need to see it on a lower time frame, just to give me an indication that I'd be looking for buy setups around set setups around this area because it's in blue. I said buy. It has to be in red. And I'll be I'll be highlighting this area also that I'll be looking for what for buy setups. Again, I only want to see it on daily time frame. And let me copy and paste. Also, if price manages to break below this area, then the next support would be this one. As you can see, many, many, many rejections from it. So resistance, resistance, broken upward, turn to a support, and so on. So as price approaches, again, we'll be looking for buy setup. But first, it has to break this brown trend line. So this is what we know. This is all we know from daily time frame. And let me give you like a quick glimpse or a quick trick. We can see that the 12K, so we didn't see it previously, right? So the price was around this area and it was fresh, price tested it, rejected it, right? It's a minor, uh, minor uh, round number. And then price rejected it again, then price broke it upward. And we can see that this is also happening. Let me remove the camera. Yes, here we go. So it also happened where around the 14K, as you can see, it's also around number rejected it once. It's not like the exact same case as 12.5, but you got the idea. So twice and then broken upward. So once, twice, broken upward, once, twice, broken upward. And then what you expect, a rejection, a rejection, and then we'll be looking for trend following buy setups, then we'll be looking for trend following buy setups. That's what we are expecting now because the price is still trading inside this channel. And let me make it a little bit lower. Let's make this one in green because we don't want to see like two blue uh, zones. And basically this is it. Now let's zoom into the lower time frames and look for what, look for, and of course, as price approaches this area, it's like now in the middle, we'll be looking for sell setups and for buy setups. Let's zoom into H4 and let me go over like quickly or over the past couple of trades. For those who have been following, you know exactly what we were looking for. Let's make this one also appear on H4. This is it, right? And here we go. So we're looking as price approaches the 12.5, as mentioned just now, that here we were looking for buy setup because it was acting as a resistance, now broken upward, acting as support. So that's it. Let me show it to you. And this is it. So we drew, we drew a trend line. And of course, we, we also have a certain rules. And then when this one was broken upward, we entered a buy here. Our stop was just below the previous swing blow and we target a two to one story with ratio. Anyway, we don't need it now. Let's make it red and then delete it. We don't need it now. And then for those who have been following me on, uh, on, on YouTube and training, you know that we also, as price approached the 14K, 
We also looked for sell setups after just a break below this double bottom pattern. Again and again, stop loss on the other side to one is reward ratio. And lately, I've also posted this one. You can find it on training view. And I also posted this one. And I also posted now this one, which is the latest one, uh, which is around here. Price form a trend line. And here we go, a channel also. And then the price broke above this swing. Again and again, entry would be around this area. The stop loss just below the previous low and we target a two to one risk uh, uh, risk to reward ratio. So this is it. And let's delete it for now. Again and again, we don't need it. It's very easy so for someone to just say what happened in history, right? But I've posted these ones live while they are forming. Just like I posted, as mentioned previously in the USD card, you can check it out here on YouTube. The Baba, you can check it here on YouTube. And anyway, you can, you can, do, you can do your own homework and research. So let's continue. We are overall bullish, that's what we know, especially after price activated this buy setup here, it was overall bullish. Then price broke below the previous low. Then we were in a bearish trend and price broke above the previous high. Now we are obviously in a bullish trend. And the price, it's like market structure 101, right? So bearish, broke upward, bullish, break downward, bearish, broke upward, bullish. And now we are obviously bullish. The price is making what? Is making higher lows and higher highs. So we are clearly overall bullish. And we would be on the overall bullish un until or unless we have a break below the previous low, just like here, right? But overall bullish, unless we have a break below the previous low. And this is what we're expecting the price to reach where? To reach this area, which would be around the 15K or around this brown trend line. It's not like a laser level, it's an entire area. So the price can like reject it here or even dive inside the 15 or even dive inside the brown trend line before going back down. That's why we don't look blindly for setups. So for example, here, the price retested it and then retested it again, rejected it once, tested it again, and then we entered by here. And here, we don't like sell around the, the 14K exactly as the price like went up and it kicked uh, out many, many traders. We didn't do that. We didn't sell blindly. We wait for extra confirmation and then we sold here, okay? Don't ever try to pick the exact tops and bottoms because you will never find it, okay? You, you might find it once or twice, but it would, be, it would be based on luck, okay? Always wait for extra confirmation and trigger. And for now, what we know is that we are overall bullish and just like we did previously here and previously here, right? We can draw what now? We can draw a trend line from here till here. This is a very straightforward. Anyway, it's not always like, like this, but this chart uh, looks like very, very clean. And again, as usual, I like to make an offset to see where is the overall movement. So if we zoom in, we can see that this one, we can make it a little bit higher to test this and this one as well. It's not broken, it's valid. Everything is going according to the plan. And this is it. So we are overall bullish by expecting NASDAQ or US 100 or NQ1 to trade higher and higher. And as it approaches our upper area, like this, for example, we can't really know how it will go, but we'll be looking for sell setups because it's the next major, it's, it's the next major resistance area where we will be looking for sell setups. And of course, now you can zoom into lower time frames and look for buy setups, but I will not zoom in today because this video is already long and I keep to make it as clean and as, uh, 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 and as easy as possible if you want to call it, because I, I, I don't know what you guys know. So if you'd like me to talk about a specific topic, let me know in the comments. I, I would love to because I'm running out of, of ideas, right? So feel free to request anything. And of course, leave a like, it will help the video reach more traders. So we are overall bullish until we see this, we can't really be sure that this will happen. It's not a prediction, but we will be waiting for price to form like any reversal pattern. It can be, it can be a double top pattern, just, just like this one. It can be a trend line break, it can be a head and shoulders pattern, and it can be like a pattern that you, you, you came up with or, or any other tools that you use. That's why I like to keep it as simple because you can add the rules or subtract any, any filter or rules. Okay, don't ever follow anyone blindly, not, and, and I mean no exceptions, like, like don't follow anyone. 
Okay, build your own trade training plan and focus on it. Focus on developing your your strength, your 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 skills, and then be in full control of your account. Never ever blame the market, the president, the news. Never blame anyone. You are the only one to blame. You are in full responsibility of your account. So be your own boss. Don't be a follower. Anyway, you chose this industry to be your own boss, right? So don't be a follower, please. And this is it. Are overall bullish on lower time frames. We can look for buy setups on uh, on the retest of the lower trend line. And of course, when this happens, as price approaches this area again, as mentioned from Bailey, we'll be looking for buy setups. That's it for me. Best of luck, and I'll see you on the next one.